Welcome to the Academy of Notre Dame's Class of 2020 Virtual Art Gallery. Featuring incredibly talented and wonderful AP Studio artists, Sophia Amos, Meg Arfa, Abby Butler, Bridget Lubker, Lily Mole, and Gwen Pullman. The Artist Statement for Senior Artist, Meg Arfa. My work focuses on the similarities and differences between Japanese and American culture as experienced through my studies and exchange program last year. American culture is an amalgamation of various traditions, while Japanese culture is a concrete, definable entity. Comparing these two cultures examines how two cultures that have developed so differently can have similarities and can both create unique traditions and characteristics. My work compares and contrasts architecture, casual crafts, student life, food, formal wear, language, cartooning styles, and friendship in both cultures. To achieve this effect, my work includes eight pieces organized in pairs that compare particular aspects of culture and four pieces that display cultural similarities or relationships. The Artist Statement for Senior Artist, Lily Mole. Initially, when I first started my sustained art investigation, it was guided by the question, how is a person's personality fragmented and different depending on who the person is with or where they are? But the question changed and expanded as I continued my investigation. My sustained investigation revolved around the setup, layout, and purpose of my pieces. After completing all of my pieces, the question that mainly guided my work was, as a teenager, how is your identity and personality uniquely developed to show who you are and how there are different sides to your personality? In order to begin my sustained investigation, I had to select people who I thought would have interesting personalities to learn about and understand. I had to interview people and analyze their answers. I learned a lot about people through my interviews, and these interviews I conducted became the source of my inspiration. As I started creating each individual portrait one at a time, I had to do a lot of brainstorming and experimenting with each piece in order to create a layout and portrait that encompassed the traits of the subject that I wanted to show.
Please tap or push on the door in order to open it and then head on in for more art. The artist statement for senior artist Sophia Amos. The question that guided my sustained investigation was how does fashion display different personality traits of individuals? Whether, whether it is subconsciously or consciously, a decision to dress in that way, I always noticed a connection between personality and clothing. I wanted to highlight four people in my life that I noticed this especially in their style. I did one piece for each person that displayed their clothing choice in oil pastel and what it reflected about their personality with a collaged background. I then did a second piece for each that displayed this personality trait further in a place where it can be seen the most. Lastly, I then chose to design a fashion illustration of an original outfit that I felt reflected their personality. Throughout my concentration, my ideas developed greatly with each individual I chose as I was able to see the truly unique attributes of each person as I compared all of them and studied the entire group. I experimented with composition and setting with an intentional positioning of body stance and color choice. The artist statement for senior artist, Bridget Lubker. The essential question that guides my investigation is the often lost importance of detail in storytelling. As intricate as a visual work may be, it is impossible to truly analyze every element. The importance and meaning behind these implementations are lost to the viewer leaving out important aspects of the artist's story portrayed in the piece. I explored this in my investigation by creating origin pieces, each with four sub-pieces of selected details from an origin. Each sub-piece was designed to depict a story of its own, as well as enhance the viewer's interpretation of the origin piece. For example, a distant speck in a tree on a vast landscape provides little insight, but when focused upon, the speck is revealed to be a snowbird upon a frosty branch. This adds an entirely new atmosphere to the origin piece, as the viewer now sees it with the added dread of a ruthless season incoming. I chose to use a fantasy style to further communicate a focus on storytelling as an art form. My investigation shows my advancement in meshing original concepts with realistic implementations. Each piece was developed and reworked to tell its own tale and enhance the experience of its set. Please tap or push on the door in order to open it and then head on in for more art. The artist statement for senior artist Abby Butler. 
I wanted to focus on the effects romantic relationships have on teenagers in today's world throughout my sustained art investigation. I really enjoyed using a variety of styles, from realism to cartooning, showing the many different aspects of high school relationships. Love at this age can often be a distorted version of what love actually is, which is why using caricature really emphasized my viewpoints on that. Surrealism helped further explain some emotions I wanted to tackle, such as the feeling of throwing up butterflies or the running faucet of emotions that demonstrate the pain and insecurities one may have after a breakup. Other pieces were more realistic paintings that touched other sides of high school dating, such as not always seeing what's real and being almost blinded by the idea of a person. Some pieces are more negative than positive and vice versa, but I wanted to capture the overall emotions so many of us have gone through when dealing with young love. Please tap or push on the door to shut it so we can better see Abby's artwork. The Artist Statement of Senior Artist Gwen Pullman My sustained investigation explores the various issues in the relationship between human society and the environment. I begin with the perspective that humanity and nature are intrinsically connected, which causes an instinctive desire in humans to connect with nature. Combating, combating this desire for connection is humanity's selfish disregard for the environment's well-being. These opposing objectives coexist due to humanity's blindness to our connection with nature and blindness to the contradictory nature of our behaviors. Throughout my body of work, I convey this blindness by omitting my human subject's eyes or purposely creating an image of blindness. I highlight the contradiction in how we treat nature, indicating our contrasting behaviors as we try to connect with, yet also destroy the environment. I use metaphors and surrealism to reveal the self-destruction and humanity's mistreatment of nature. Thank you for checking out the art of my incredibly talented and wonderful AP Studio Art students. They have been an incredible bunch of girls to work with this year, and I have been blessed to share time with them. I wish them all the best as they move on to college. I know they'll all do incredible things.